Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll show you how to set up an NFS server. Um, now, if you're not lucky enough to spend a lot of money on a NAS, um, you might end up being like, well, I still have a server with a decent amount of hard drives and I create a VM and you know, I'm running like either Proxmox or XXI and I have just hard drives to kind of throw at it. Um, this might be your alternative to kind of create an NFS server that you can do the same thing that you would do with a NAS, um, have an NFS mount that you kind of mount between all your machines to kind of do shared storage. So um, that's what we'll be doing today. This video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my video, uh, want to sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email's in the description below. So let's get started, guys. All right, so what we'll do first here is go to our GitLab, update our DNS so that we have DNS um, things configured. Um, so we'll update our DNS repo to deploy out. We'll make sure we update the serial here, add um, NFS as our server name for our domain, add the entries, add the IP, and then we'll commit it, add NFS. All right, now we should be set on that. So what we'll do here, we add 172, 160. Uh, once uh, 172.16, one dot, I think was what, 48? We had, yeah, 48. So with a base Linux uh, server, and in this case, I'm running called Oracle Linux 8, um, but for like CentOS or any kind of Red Hat distribution, this is probably what you would do. Um, if you were running a Debian or Ubuntu, um, you'd, run, you'd probably install NFS comments instead of NFS utils, but then everything else would be kind of very similar though. So um, in this case, I'm running Oracle Linux 8 in case you guys do run into issues with your own operating systems. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is install NFS hyphen utils. Uh, this will install all the utility packages needed for NFS. Um, this also includes being on the client side too. You'll need, we'll need to install this on our client side, um, but we'll set that up in a different video. Um, next thing we can do is actually start our NFS server um, after installing that. And we will enable NFS also to start on boot. Um, next, we'll essentially make a directory in here and we'll call it NFS share. Um, and this is where our like location of any files that go into this share will be that can be mounted. Um, so we're just going to do slash NFS share, underscore share, but you can change it up to be whatever you want. You can name it something different. You can put it in a different location, um, but we're just going to do it this way. Then we will create a file called uh, exports um, in the Etsy location. So exports essentially is um, Kind of saying, hey, these are the shares that I am good with allowing people to connect to. So what we're going to do, and you can do multiple shares in this case, um, but we only have one. So our slash NFS share is what we'll have. Then the next part will be the range or the IP addresses that you allow to connect. This essentially is your kind of like fall to of making sure you don't do global of like, hey, anyone can connect because you really don't want anyone to be able to connect. So in this case, I'm just gonna use my subnet range of 172.16.1.0 slash 24. Um, so any any computer on my subnet um, with, with a 172 address should be able to connect to this NFS share. Um, then we'll set some parameters. So we'll make sure read writes, we'll sync, and then we won't uh, squash root. Um, this one is kind of important because I essentially run all my uh, users as root on all my other Linux boxes. So if you don't have this, essentially if you mount it and is in your root on a client machine, um, it will essentially say you don't have permissions to do it. So you need the no root squash um, set. Otherwise you can't do things as root on other boxes. Um, now, if you're not, if, if you're doing better security practices and you're not running things as root, um, you wouldn't need it, <laughs> but I run things as root. So we will save that. And then what we'll do is do export FS and then A. Um, so this will essentially read the exports, the ex Etsy exports file right here, and it will export this share. So now we can actually see and show mount E um, NFS. Uh, dragon.local and we can see that when we query for it we can see that on this server we have this export that means anyone from this 
subnet range. You can do specific IPs also, but I just did the whole range. Can connect to this NFS share on this machine. Um, so that's essentially how you set up an NFS server. Um, the last thing that I'll leave off is if you decide um, to not disable the firewall, so um, <laughs> CTL status firewall D, I have my firewall disabled um, just for you know purposes to make it really easy to just be like, hey, you know, things can just connect. I don't need to add a firewall rule to it. Um, but if you were writing a firewall, um, you would actually need to add the ports that would, or the service and ports that would essentially allow clients to connect to the server. So to do that, um, we will run the firewall CMD command, firewall CMD command, um, and we will set permanent and we'll add the service of N NFS. Um, we will also add the service of RPC bind and then mount D would be the three things that you would need in your firewall to allow, you know, all the NFS connections. Um, and then we all just want to reload the firewall um, to pick up all those changes. Um, but if you just had it how I would have it in my, like, my home line for testing purposes and don't have the firewall on, you wouldn't have to do these. But if you do have the firewall on, you will want to add these services to make sure that you can mount to this server. So. That's it for this video on how to create an NFS server. Um, in our next video, I'll show you how to connect to this from a different machine so that you can see how it all works together. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.